I'd like to tell you a story about an older man who lives down the street from me. He's in his 80s and uh, still lives at home. But recently, when I spoke to him, he said that he was very lonely. That no one has talked to him for weeks. That he hasn't even ventured out of the house. Now he's been dealing with anxiety and also with depression, as many people are. But the one thing that I asked him was, does he have any family nearby? He told me that, yes, he does have a daughter that lives only about 10 minutes away. Yet he refuses to call her because of his pride. Our text for today is taken from James chapter 5, verses 13 through 20, and is titled, The Prayer of Faith. James wrote, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed fervently that it might not rain. And for three years and six months, it did not rain on the earth. Then he prayed again, and heaven gave rain, and the earth bore its fruit. My brothers, if anyone among you wanders from the truth and someone brings him back, let him know that whoever brings back a sinner from his wandering will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. So far, the text. I know many Christians who are lonely, who are afraid who are dealing with anxiety. Just like that elderly man that lives down the street from me. But I wonder how many of these Christians are turning to God in prayer, asking for help, asking for his mercy, asking him to provide peace. You know, many Christians don't really pray too often to God for many reasons. But the one reason that I give to you today is what James says is the prayer of faith. That turn your heart to God. The prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, the Lord will raise him up, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power and is working. So far, the text. A righteous person is one who has faith in God and the Lord Jesus trusts God in the promises that he has made to us in the scriptures and believes that Jesus is our Lord and Savior because of what he accomplished for us on the cross and in the empty tomb. The prayer of faith 
will save us. But how many Christians won't say that prayer because of their pride? I pray that we will all acknowledge the fact that we are weak and that we desperately need God's help every single moment of every single day. A prayer of faith is a prayer that needs to be made always.